Hello Duelists, welcome back to the Crown Corp channel. My name is Bram and today we're finally going to be talking about the physical duel playmat again. So in the previous video I said that I was successfully able to connect eight different NFC sensors to the Raspberry Pi, which corresponds to eight zones of physical playmat. And you just had to believe me back then, I wasn't really able to show you anything. But that changes now because I've set up kind of like a prototype you could say, it's still not fully finished. But now you can finally get an idea of what it is that I'm building. As you will notice by watching this video is that you will actually see nothing Yu-Gi-Oh related here. The main reason for that is that as many of you have already warned me about, Konami might eventually file a season desist. And that would mean that I would have to stop working on the project. So yeah, I kind of need a backup plan and now I would be able to say, okay, we're not going to support Yu-Gi-Oh anymore, let's move on to a different card game. So the game that I have been experimenting with recently is called Elestrals. It's fairly new, um, but they recently had a very successful Kickstarter. And it's actually quite a fun game to play. I think it combines the best of Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon and maybe some other card games. I'm not going to explain too much about what Elestrals is here. If you'd like to learn more, you can find some links in the description to the website and maybe their YouTube channel. Channel. Now is actually a really good time to get into the game because they're actually hosting a tournament right now where some of the biggest card game content creators, or at least YouTubers I guess, are competing against each other. So yeah, I'm going to assume that most of you are still interested in Yu-Gi-Oh content, so maybe you know YouTubers like Distant Coder, who is actually competing in this tournament. So yeah, definitely check that out. Now to talk a bit more about what you see on the screen here, as you can see I have a physical dual playmat and then also a 3D model of that playmat on my computer. And then what you will see is that as soon as I play a card on one of the NFC sensors, then a 3D model will appear in the corresponding zone of the digital playmat. So yeah, I'm actually really proud of myself for making it this far. It's still not finished, of course. As you can see, I still have a lot of things to figure out when it comes to the wiring, for example. But we're just in the prototyping phase, so I think that this is acceptable for now. I just wanted to show you that I already have something that works, that when a card is placed on one of these sensors, then a 3D model can appear on a digital playmat. The cards that I'm using are from Lestrals, but I don't have any 3D models for those yet, so that's why you're seeing some other creatures that are probably quite familiar to you. I probably don't have to explain to you who Charmander, Charmeleon and Charizard are. But yeah, that's all that I have right now. As I already said, one of the things that I'm going to focus on next is the wiring, because ideally, of course, all of the electronics are underneath the playmat, and the way I'm going to do that, I think, is by putting a piece of cardboard underneath the playmat and then attaching the sensors to that. I also still need to set up the augmented reality part of the project because as you can see, I've already created a program in Unity which can respond to events of the physical dual playmat. But the idea that I have in my mind is that somehow your webcam or maybe an augmented reality headset will be able to overlay the digital playmat with the physical playmat. And then when you place a card on the physical playmat, then it will look like the 3D models of the creatures will come out on top of the physical cards. I hope that makes sense and if it doesn't, well, I guess you will figure out what I'm talking about in one of the next videos. Anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video, so yeah, I hope that you really enjoyed it. If you'd like to follow the progress on the project in more detail or if you'd like to ask questions, then make sure to follow me on social media. I'm mainly active on Twitter, well, on, on X, Twitter, whatever you call it. And also make sure to join us on Discord because that's where all of the interesting conversations happen. So yeah, this is actually all that I wanted to show you right now, the progress that I've made on the physical dual playmat. I will be taking a short break now because I'm actually going on a holiday for a week. But when I'm back, I'm going to get started with the Meta Quest 3 and porting the Smart Dual Gazer from uh, Android and iOS and the Envy Lite to the Meta Quest 3. And I've also decided to, uh, to document and share my journey with you guys because apparently a lot of people are interested in following this developer journey. So yeah, that's everything I have for you right now. I hope you're as excited about the project as I am. And I also hope to see you in the next video. Until then.